The shores of Lake Victoria were ground zero for the AIDS epidemic in Africa when the disease first was discovered here. And on the main island of Uganda's Kalangala district, prevalence rates still remain extremely high. We realize that there is about 17% of all the people who we are tested. This is so high when you compare it with the national figures. In Kalangala, we are about three times higher. But Kalamire Hillary is the only medical doctor anywhere on the more than 80 islands of Kalangala district. And the main reasons we think we have a very high prevalence. First of all, the male to female ratio is high. This is due to the nature of the work, fishing and lumbering. So you find that we have very many males to females, actually about three males to one female. Hillary says that at some landing sites where fishermen bring in a day's catch and make a beeline for the local bar, the HIV rates can reach a shocking 40 percent. The few females who come here are shared by the very many males. This means if there is an infected female, this female would in turn infect so many men. So we think condoms would play a very big role in preventing HIV AIDS spreading in our, in our district. But with one medical doctor for 50,000 people on these islands, the churches and mosques are an integral player in the health care system. My name is uh, Sheikh Idris Mayanja. The Sheikh, as everyone calls him here, is the head Qadi for the island's Muslims. He's also an AIDS counselor who makes regular visits to patients. This is a tropical landing site. It's where the they do fishing. There is also 3,000 people. The smell of campfire fills the landing site where seasonal sex workers rent up all available rooms when the fish are running. We are going to visit uh, some of our clients who is already infected by HIV and AIDS. Uh, I just come to make home visits to them. The sheikh meets a client who says she got AIDS from her husband. Although she isn't a Muslim, since her diagnosis, she says the sheikh is the only person who comes to check up on her. Unlike Dr. Hillary, the sheikh doesn't see condoms as the first line of defense. Like Uganda's president, he says they should be a last resort. The major emphasis we are putting in on our people is that it will be faithful. Also, we have tried to tell our people to live without making sex. We are trying to tell them that you should be faithful, and even those who are not married, we are encouraging them to marry. But like religious leaders the country over, the sheikh must constantly negotiate between religious doctrine and disease prevention. In some cases, he admits, condoms are simply the lesser of two evils. You, you can do something wrong, but don't, don't do more wrong. Because uh, infecting someone is like uh, killing him. At least they should not infect others. Prevention messages for HIV may be something of a battleground, but when it comes to delivering care to people with AIDS, religious leaders like the Sheikh are absolutely indispensable. This is the building for people having HIV and AIDS. They, they show the people that being infected with HIV and AIDS, it doesn't mean that you can't do anything. That's why they are dancing, like someone who is not infected. They do dance, they do sing, as other people are doing. For example, if someone comes when he has uh, Already he has got a lot of problems when he dances and sings. By the time you talk to him, he, you find him that is a bit relieved. It, it gives uh, some other people impression that once you come and you start taking the drugs, you will survive. You will survive and you will take some more years to live.